Just last night, uh, there was a missing person in the mountains and they didn't know where they were, they were lost. So if it wasn't for uh, the fact that we had night vision goggles, we wouldn't be able to fly there uh, to look for this person because it's completely dark out there. My name is uh, Officer Andy Lacayo. I'm with the San Jose Police Department. I've been a police officer with the department for almost 20 years. I've been flying for the department for about five years now. My duties right now entail being a uh, pilot for the H-125 in addition to being a tactical flight officer as well. I'm Officer Cabasta with the San Jose Police Department Air Support Unit. I've been in the Air Support Unit for approximately three years now. Our department decided to purchase the H-125 which is a far more capable machine, it was a big jump forward for what we do. Our basic operation or basic mission is to support patrol for the city of San Jose. We do that by proactive police work. We launch three times a night, try and fly approximately four and a half to six hours a night every night to be overhead when the priority calls do come out. We mainly support patrol in the function of uh, doing searches, looking for criminals who are hiding from the patrol units on the ground, also police pursuits. Instead of the ground units chasing uh, the offenders in a car, we'll follow them with our camera system and our mapping system. Now it's a high rate of speed, negative vehicles in pursuit. And we have all the capabilities communicating with the ground units in order to uh, coordinate all the police force together to apprehend the, the suspect. He's on your left, left, stop, stop, stop. We also have a lot more equipment than the average helicopter for its mission. The camera system, the lighting system, radios, police radios on top of that. We uh, also hope to get into some of the rescue missions. It's gonna be a male in a hoodie, jeans. Again, that's more weight, but the H-125 is capable to expand into that mission. Check that, units have them. And public safety is very important for us to be able to overlap in not just the police work, but also the, the uh, safety. They're taking them into custody. We can fly longer, we can fly higher. The equipment on it that it can carry, the space in the cockpit, to have a larger screen, more room to look around, the visibility is phenomenal. The entire panel is, is night vision compliant, so we got our night vision goggles, and it's a big help when it comes to the point of flying in the mountains, because over the city lights it's fine, but once you leave the city lights, it gets dark really fast. Now with night vision goggles, we can pretty much go anywhere as long as we're not weather limited day or night and we can assist those agencies in those locations.